Well, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, Lieutenant Austin. Um, thank you all for being here. I, I want to, first of all, thank U.S. Attorney uh, Barron, Colonel Jones, Secretary Green, and all of our uh, law enforcement partners for joining us here today at the Glen B uh, Burney Barrack of the Maryland State Police. We're here to announce a series of major actions to expand on uh, federal state efforts to give law enforcement officers the tools that they need to fight violent crime and to hold violent criminals accountable. For eight years, addressing violent crime has been an important focus of our administration. And a critical piece of that has been increasing collaboration and coordination. We brought together federal, state, and local partners to conduct coordinated, aggressive surge operations throughout Baltimore City, which resulted in hundreds of arrests of repeat violent felons. We launched an expansion of Project Safe Neighborhoods to enable federal prosecutors <clears throat> to charge repeat violent offenders with federal crimes in federal courts before federal judges. And last year, I directed the Maryland State Police and all five state law enforcement agencies to uh, provide uh, substantial additional investigative assistance to back up and assist the Baltimore City Police Department uh, and to provide enhanced visibility patrols. Uh, we launched a 100 percent state match of all Crime Stoppers uh, rewards that lead to arrests. We enacted a $500 million refund the police initiative, which included a 50 percent increase in state aid to local police to enable them to recruit and retain more quality officers, to increase diversity, to expand community policing efforts, and to improve training. We also funded more than 30 new positions at the U.S. Attorney's Office, including 10 additional special assistant U.S. attorneys for Baltimore City. And we beefed up BPD's Warrant Apprehension Task Force. Maryland State Police are now patrolling I-83 to help free up more city officers to focus on violent crime. We formed a new statewide Maryland Criminal Intelligence Network, an innovative data and information sharing system that emphasizes collaboration by connecting state-funded operational initiatives uh, from counties and municipalities together with state and federal law enforcement agencies. And today, to build on all of those important efforts, we're launching another wave of aggressive crime-fighting actions. First, we're announcing a new Baltimore City feeder route task force initiative, uh, composed of Maryland State Police troopers and officers of the Maryland Transportation Authority, along with uh, officers from the Baltimore County Police Department and the Anne Arundel County Police Department. Uh, this joint task force will utilize real-time intelligence from the Maryland Coordination and Analysis Center, or MCAC, to enhance overnight patrol efforts to crack down on gang and criminal activity along all of the main arteries into and out of Baltimore City, including uh, Maryland Route 140, Route 26, Baltimore National Pike, and Maryland Route 2 in Anne Arundel County. This initiative has already led to dozens of arrests and citations. Today, we are also announcing a new uh, innovative knock and talk initiative developed by the Maryland Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services focused on Baltimore City neighborhoods that are experiencing increased levels of violence. In coordination with the U.S. Attorney's Office, this enhanced engagement initiative deploys eight teams of parole and probation agents and sworn police officers in designated districts who will be making unannounced home visits. Agents are accompanied by social workers to help provide immediate and direct access to resources, including mental health services, family counseling, and identification needs. This initiative, which has already successfully made hundreds of contacts in the community, builds on all of our community engagement and policing efforts. Information regarding this initiative is being shared with the affected Baltimore City Police Department commanders. Uh, in addition, uh, we have uh, briefed incoming state's attorney, Ivan Bates, on all of the various federal, state, and local surge operations which are underway. 
Once again, I want to sincerely thank U.S. Attorney Eric Barron for his partnership and for his strong commitment to tackling crime. Uh, working together, 